It took 75 firefighters seven hours to fight this fire and a community working together to rebuild. Chris Campbell lives in downtown Loveland and has been keeping an eye on the progress. That's what we do every day. We just come down here and watch the construction. Yeah, it's exciting. Because the facade was saved, helping to keep the charm of the original buildings, yet create a fresh look inside. I'm glad they're keeping it the way it used to be. It sounds like it's going to be very elegant. Tenno Bistro will be returning to its previous location. New menu, um, new tastings, new uh, bar area. We're really excited about that. The restaurant is also adding a rooftop bar. Bishop's Quarter Restaurant and Bourbon Bar is moving in next door on the corner. It's going to have that New Orleans kind of feel to it. So the wrought iron on the outside, the balconies on the outside, but a rooftop bar as well. Bike Trail Junction is adding a full kitchen and more outside seating. It'll also be changing its name. Loveland already attracts out of towners because of the bike trail and river. Yeah, you see different counties everywhere. Look at the license plate. You'll see Franklin County, Montgomery County, but Butler County, you'll see, yeah, from everywhere. And once this opens... Hopefully it's more business for me. <laughs> And last year's fire started above Tano's. Fire investigators uh, say it started as an electrical fire. Reporting live in Loveland tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.